Tech Price here and today I'm doing a video um, balancing equations as a chemistry video it's a new type of video please like this video if you like this new idea please like it if it's really helped you comment below so here is a simple equation for you guys starting off so the first step I recommend for you to do is to write down of how many of each product you have what I mean by this is how many potassium do you have how many chlorine do you have and then how many do you have here so first off let's write down how many potassium we have there's only one here as you can see there's none left on this side so we just write down one and then we have CL there's two of them this two here belongs to the CL therefore it means there's two of them you do CL times 2 which equals CL2 so let's just write this down here so you can see it CL times 2 equals 2CL so whenever you see those remember you're just like times in it just remember it like that so that's meant to be a 2 so we write down CL and then we write down that we have two of them. So on the other side of equation, so this is an arrow that separates the equation, if you didn't know that. So let's just write a little dotted line so you can see. So on the other side, we have 1k there. Remember, this is together, but we find out all the individual elements, what we have. So we have k here. And there's one of them. CL, this time there's nothing times in it. So there's only one of them. You can just imagine there's like a little one there. And then that means CL times one is CL. So that's a little way of remembering. So there's CL and then there's one there. So uh, let's just um, look at what we have just formed. So as you can, we can easily see that on this side there's one. On this side here, there's one. On this side of a dotted line, there's two um, chlorines. But on this side of a dotted line, there's one. Therefore, it's unbalanced. So to balance it, what do you do to get from one to two? One to two. So one to two, you do one times two equals two. So imagine it as in, what do you get from 1 to 2? Two? 1 times 2 is 2. So we write on this side here a 2, because we want to get um, 2 CLs. So you write down a 2 here. We can't write a 2 there, as you're not allowed. So you write a 2 on the outside. So now we write down a 2 here. That means there's going to be 2K and 2 CL. So, just to help you guys understand this bit here, let's go down. So, there's gonna, we're times in the whole thing by 2. So, there's going to be 2 times KCL. Imagine it being in a bracket like K and then CL. This is DF. So, in a bracket, you times everything by the number outside. So, we're going to times 2 by K. So, 2 times k equals 2k and then you do 2 times cl so you do that times that let's quickly switch color and then we do this times that so you do 2 times cl so 2 times cl equals 2cl because when you put a 2 on the outside imagine it being like a bracket so we have 2K, 2CL. So we cross out the numbers from here because we've changed them now. So we've got 2 here and 2 here. Now, on this side of a dotted line here, we have 2. On this side, we have 2. It's balanced here. But on this side here, we have 1 potassium, but we have 2 here. So what do you do to get from 1 to 2? Like last time, 1 times 2 equals 2. So we put a 2 on the outside, you can imagine it being like a bracket again, but there's only k on its own, so you just do 2 times k equals 2k. 
So we cross that out here and we have two there. So just to ensure all our marks, we can look at the equation being balanced on the dotted line. Two on this side of a dotted line, two on this, we've got two on this side here as well. We have two here and we have two here. Therefore, we have balanced this equation out. Just to um, make it easy for you guys to read this, be 2k plus Cl2 equals 2kcl. So now we've done that, we have officially balanced this equation. So now let's um, make sure we've got your, now we've got the basis understood, let's just crank up the level a little. So here we have four P's, two oxygen, and then two P's and three. I think that's, that's a three there. So um, the first step, remember, is to write down what you have on each side of the equation. So we have, let's write down the P's first. We have four P's. And then in O, we have two of them. Remember, there's four here's belonging to the P. P times four is four P. O times two is two. So we have two of those, just to help you remember that. So on this side here, we have two P's. So we write down two P, and then we have times, and we have two of them. And then similarly, we have O here, but we have three of them. So on this side of the equation, let's switch to our lemon. We have two, but we need to get to four. We want to get to the higher number. And then we have two and three. We need to make them the we need to make them the lowest common multiple, basically. So the common multiple in 2 and 3 is 6, and the common multiple in 4 and 2 is 4. So let's start with the P first. You usually do oxygen last. So what do we get um, from 2 to 4? How do you get from 2 to 4? You times it by 2. So like last time, you put a 2 on the outside, and then you do... 2 times 2 is 4. Let's just colour code this. So you do 2 times 2 is 4. And then um, let's get a clover colour. Then you do 2 times 3 is 6. So that means now we have four P's and we have six oxygens. So let's have a quick overview of our equation now. We have balanced out the P's but we have we have um haven't balanced out the O's now. So what do you get from two to six? You times it by three. So we simply just put a three on the outside here. And then we do 3 times 2 is 6. So we have 6 oxygens. So as you can see, we have 4 P's here and 4 P's here. 6 O's here and 6 O's here. So let's just write down the full, full equation. It is P4 plus 3 O2 is 2p, 2 on the outside, p, 2, o, 3. So let's just do our last equation. So as you can see, we've upped the level again. So what do we have on this equation? We are, Let's just get a brief overview first. Remember, the first step is to write down what you have on each side. We've been doing this in red throughout. So we have 3NA. 
Because remember, N, A, and if that belongs to the three, we have three of them. So you write down N, A, and then you write down three. And then we have one P here. There's only one. And then with oxygen, this is where it gets a bit more difficult. There's four oxygens here, but there's another oxygen here. So what do you do? You do four plus one. So let's write down four plus one, and that equals five. So that means we have five O's. Therefore, we write down O here, and we have five of them. All right, now we have um, got the Na, we have the Ps, we have the Os. What's left? The Hs. We only have one H, so you just write down H and then 1. So let's move to this side of the equation. So let's start with Na, like last time. And um, we write Na, and let's look across the equation. There's only one Na, so you write down 1. If you're wondering why we're doing it in order, it's so we can look at it very seamlessly and easily to help us out in a GCSE exam or whatever exam you're doing. So P, there's only one P around here. So you write down a P. And then you write down one of them. And then O's, you look how many O's. We have four O's here and we have one O's. O here, add them together, you get five O's. And then we look at the hydrogens, there's one here, and you write down one here. And we have a potassium here, which I forgot to add, sorry for that. So we write down K, there's only one of them on that side. Remember to check, if you make a mistake like this, you can easily just go back because we haven't started to balance it. So remember to double check in the exam to ensure your marks. So we have three here, remember three K that's belonging here. So we write down three here. So the first thing we need to look at was unbalance the NAs. Let's quickly get our yellow lemon. The NAs are unbalanced. The P's are unbalanced. No, the P's are balanced. And the potassiums are unbalanced. So let's um, start with the Na. What do you get to 1 to 3? You times it by 3. So we put a 3 here. So you do 3 times Na is 3 Na. 3 times O is 3 O. So remember this bit. You do 3 O from here, and then you add the 4 from here. 3 O, and the 4 from here is 3 O. So you do 4 add 3 is 7. So remember, 3 O, 3 times 1 is 3, add the 4 is 7. And then we have um, 3 times H is 3 H. So... Don't get worried that it's turned even more unbalanced because it'll start to fix itself as we keep on balancing it individually. So um, now, what do we have here? Um, we need to balance out on this side here because we need to balance out the Ks. So how do you balance out the Ks? You do, um, you times it by 3. How do you get 1 to 3? You times it by 3. You do 3 times K is 3. Then you do um, 3 times O is 3 O. But remember, there's more than 1 O. So you do 3 O, add 4 O. 3 add 4 is 7. As you can see, it's already starting to balance itself out. So 3, 3 add 4 is 7. 3 from here, 4 from here. And then we have to do 3 times H, which is 3H. And let's just have a brief overview of this now. So as we can see, we have 3, three N, um, NAs, and we have 3 NAs here. We have 1 here, and we have 1 here. 7 here, and we have 7 here. 3 here, 3 here, 
and then we're free here and free here. That is a balanced equation. So let's just write this down um, simply. N A. And then we have a 3 from there. And then we have a P O 4. So we didn't touch this bit here. And then um, we do 3K plus 3KOH plus 3KOH. And that equals 3NAOH. And then that is um, plus K3PO4. So that was untouched. Plus K3PO4. So I'm um, coming to the end of the video now. Let's quickly check the answer. Please thumb this up, thumbs up this video if this has helped you on your equations or this is useful and you want to see more scientific videos and tech sciencey techy channel now so if you want to see him please like this video comment below what you think and i have a worksheet in the description below so let's just check the answers that we have just done of the worksheet that i have got from here so um the worksheet will be in the link in the description we have done question one question three and question 16. so question one's a question that we just did last the answer is Na3PO4, just ignore the 1 because the 1 is like neutral so you don't have to pick. So it is 3 and 3, Na3PO4, 3KOH. So as you can see, Na3PO4, 3KOH, which is 3NAOH plus K3PO4. So that is um, the answer for that one there. And um, just to show you the answer for... Um, Let's just put these back down here. So uh, the P, um, let's show you the answer of the P43021, which is here, which is question three, 1P43022, PO2, and then we've got that as, as well. Um, let's just find it. Yep, 1P43022, P2. As you can see, they're all right and they're all correct. Hope you like this video. Comment below, uh, and if you want the answer sheet, it comes and worksheet. It comes in one document. I've uh, made this for you guys, so you can um, do all of them with the answers. Please don't cheat yourself because that's pointless. But hopefully, this really helps you in your GCSE exam. As I didn't really know this a couple of weeks ago, and my test is in like two weeks, so it's really it was quite hard to learn. But then from my teacher, but as soon as I went online. I learned it and I want you guys to know it as well so you guys can do good in your exams as well. So thumbs up if this helped you and um, I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Peace.